Now, your local weather with the KX Storm Team. And welcome back, everybody. It's certainly been a uh, bit of a blustery day, a uh, mild day, but also we've seen a little bit of snow showers out there as well. Here's Dickinson. Temperature is 23 degrees, and it's not terrible, but we do have a wind out of the west northwest of 13 miles per hour, so it does make it feel like 11 degrees. Definitely a sharp, colder wind, and we have that wind coming out of the northwest. You can see it clearly here from our wind vectors. Most of us are looking at temperatures right now in the 20s. We have a few teens across our northeast there. Uh, the Turtle Mountain area and rugby, both in the upper teens. But generally, it's uh, fairly mild for this time of year. Wind chills, they're down there. They feel like the single digits across our east, teens back towards the west. So those winds definitely having an impact on what it actually feels like outside right now. We got to 29 degrees today in Bismarck. That's a couple degrees above our average, which is now 27 degrees and slowly beginning to creep up. Record high set on this day in 1918, that being 54 degrees. Now, we don't have any weather alerts in our area, but I wanted to point out that there is, in fact, a winter storm watch for our eastern neighbors. That does include the Devil's Lake area out towards Grand Forks and Fargo. Well, we'll go ahead and show you why here in just a second. And that's not because of this light snow that's going on right now. Those are just some flurries and some light snow showers. Had some of those come through Bismarck and Mandan earlier. Still could be a few light flurries uh, that the radar is picking up. Nothing significant. But we're going to zoom on out, and I mean way out, to look at the big picture. So, we have had a lot of cold air, but it's been well bottled up across the far north. We've not had many Arctic outbreaks here in North Dakota, at least not over the past few weeks, because the jet stream has held it in check, essentially bottled it up across the Arctic north. And you can see there, there is a lot of cold air up there. Don't worry, look at Baker Lake up in none of it. It's 37 below right now. So what's going to happen? Well, let's go ahead and roll precision cast. The uh, the center of the cold air is in this area of high pressure up towards the Canadian Arctic. What's going to happen over the next 48 hours is we're going to have an area of low pressure begin to develop across the far northwest. This will start to approach by late tomorrow evening. Now here's the situation for us through the day tomorrow. We're going to have a strong southwesterly wind uh, in response to this area of low pressure starting to move in. Now we'll keep it mostly dry through the day tomorrow. And in fact, temperatures are going to warm up quite a bit with that southwesterly wind. But you see what's going to happen here. By 7 o'clock tomorrow evening, we're going to have an area of low pressure, a cold front, and areas of snow start to move on in. And I tell you what, as this cold front passes, the winds are going to switch around to the north through the night tomorrow night into Wednesday morning. And we're going to have a strong northerly wind coupled with some light snow. And conditions are favorable for blizzard-like conditions with even just light snow across our eastern county. Doesn't look like we'll see that uh, that extreme here, but still, we could get a lot of blowing snow out there with plunging temperatures Wednesday morning. And here comes our our uh, cold air that originated from the Canadian Arctic. That's going to drop on in through the day Wednesday. Lows tonight, temperatures getting down into the teens, and your highs tomorrow, temperatures. Look at this, getting up into the 30s. So enjoy tomorrow because cold air is on the way. Dickinson, your forecast for mid 30s tomorrow. Followed by teens Wednesday and Thursday. Williston, same thing here, mild tomorrow, and then we'll drop Wednesday and Thursday. Your seven day forecast? Well, the funny thing is, we're going to have very cold air. You can see a high of two below zero on Wednesday. Not only that, it's going to be windy, but temperatures warm right back up by the end of the week. So we have like this area of cold air kind of sandwiched in between two periods of mild air. So our snow accumulations, Maybe just a couple of inches. It's going to be very light snow, so that's not going to be significant. What's going to be significant is the wind and the cold. All right, but it's short lived. Yeah. Coming up next to sports.